this video, I'm going to show you how to use a PDF with Insert Learning. So the first thing we're going to do is bring that PDF into Google Drive because we're going to turn it into a Google Doc. So I'm going to drag my PDF over here into Google Drive. And once this finishes uploading, I'm going to then open it as a Google Doc. So I've got it right here. So I'm going to right click or two finger tap and open with Google Docs. This will convert it into a Google Doc where you can then edit the text to make any changes you need. Um, you will lose images, but I'm going to show you how to get those images back. So once it's finished uploading or converting it to a, a Google Doc, I'm going to go through and just kind of remove some of these things on the original PDF. Um, that kind of took up a little bit of space. So there we go. Now I'm ready. And I'm going to click on the Insert Learning Chrome extension. Now what it's going to do is it'll ask you to publish that Google Doc. And what that means is that essentially is just turning it into a like website version of that doc. You don't have to worry about share settings. Any changes you make on the original Google Doc will then also show up on your published Google Doc version as well. And all of this is still living on Google Docs. Um, now what you can do is you can go through and use Insert Learning on it just like you would any other kind of web page. One of the things that you are going to notice is that you've now lost the images that used to show up on there. All right, so if we open up this PDF, I'm going to scroll down. And so some of these images have now disappeared. I want to kind of bring these things back. Um, and there was an image. There we go. That was the image I want. Um, so let's say if I want one of these line drawings here, I want to be able to bring these line drawings and put them back in, right? Because, you know, you can do videos and things like that, but I want to use these original ones. So I'm going to use a separate Chrome extension called Awesome Screenshot. So I'm going to click on that extension. Again, it's called Awesome Screenshot. If you go to the Chrome web store and search for it, you'll find it. I'm going to capture a selected area. And I'm just going to draw a little box around the portion that I want. Click on Capture. At this point, you can now make any kind of annotations or mod changes to this image that you want to. And we can click on Done. And now you can save it to your Google Drive, but I really don't need to do that. I'm just going to right click on it and copy that image and heading over to our insert learning lesson. I'll just paste it into one of those sticky notes. And there we go. So now you can add in the images, you can throw in videos, interactive simulations, um, anything else that you'd want with insert learning in there. So that's how you use insert learning with a PDF and add those images back in.